Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today we are going to learn how to do great passback between Canvas and Aries. Basically we are learning how Canvas syncs our grades with Aries. So in order to be successful, there's a couple of steps that you must take. The first one, we're going to go into a course. So if you have one course, just go to that course. If you have different courses, you're going to have to do this for each of them. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you go to settings. When you are in settings, under course details, you want to scroll down and you want to make sure that the grading scheme is selected. Okay, so this is uh, unselected by default. So you want to go ahead and click it. And when you click it, it actually gives you a grading scheme that Canvas has created for us. It's pretty accurate. You can select another one or just edit the one that we have. I'm not going to do it, but this is how you would do it, okay? So again, the first step is that you must have the enable course grading scheme to be set, okay? After we've done that, the second part that is very, very important for you is that when you go to assignments, before our syncing with Aries Gradebook can happen, you must set up groups, okay? And then just to give you an idea, in my Canvas um, assignments, I have three different groups. I have my assignments that are worth 30%, I have my essays that are worth 40%, and I have my quizzes that are worth 30%. So think of groups as categories in your Aries Gradebook so um, we're gonna create them over here so let's say that i, I want to create a group that's called quizzes and i want to make that work 40 percent i will just do that okay and then go ahead and save and i will continue until i get all of my different groups um, set up and that they add up to 100 percent so people have said that they don't use percentages but they use points so what i would do is i would just create one group and just call it total grade and call it 100 percent that's something very, very important, okay? The group names that you give on Canvas must match the name of each category you have in your, in your Aries Gradebook. So if you call the homework in Canvas groups, it must, it must be called homework in the categories that you set up on Aries Gradebook. So let's say that you have homework, tests, participations, and reading response, then those names are must match in the groups in Canvas and also in the categories on your Aries Gradebook. Okay, so now that we have created groups, we can move on to assignments. So again, creating groups is really, really the key for this to work. So now let's go to assignments. And when we go to assignments, we have the option to name the assignment. I'm just going to call it test for now. Right, I'm not going to spend time on the instructions, but make sure you get the points. This is going to be 10 points. Okay. And over here now, you set up your groups. So now you have the ability to tell it, I want it to go to essays, or I want it to go to assignments, or I want it to go to quizzes. It is completely up to you. Or if you need to add a new group, you can do that from here too. We're not going to talk about submission type today, but we're going to go to the bottom over here. And the key for this to work is that you have this option to sync to SIS. So you want to make sure that this is click. Okay? Otherwise, it's not going to work. So by default, it's not click. So if you want to sync to Aries, you want to click it. And just a reminder that this works with assignments that have a value or point value assigned to them, right? Such as assignments, such as quizzes, such as discussions. This is not going to work for anything that is a non-graded assignment type. Okay, so just remember that it has worked for our assignments, our quizzes, and our discussions, okay? And now over here, this is very important. You have the ability to assign it to everyone or just to a section, okay? So if you assign to everyone or you assign to a section or, 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 or different sections, the great passback is going to work, the syncing is going to work. However, if you are doing this and differentiating for a student and just assigning to one student, this is not going to work. Okay, I'll repeat that again. It will work for uh, entire um, whole sections if you wanted to, or four sections, or just one or two sections. But if you are differentiating, this is not going to work. You also must have a due date. So let's do a due date in here. So this is going to be done the seven. Okay, and then uh, I'm not sure if you've seen this, but this is kind of a great tool to have. I want this assignment to be available from uh, today. Okay, and I do not want late work. Okay, so if I leave this blank, 
students can still submit the assignment past out of seven, it will just show up on my grade as late. So I want this assignment to go away on the seven. This is completely up to you, up to you, but I don't uh, accept late work, so I'm going to put it like this, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and save and publish. Again, due date can only be assigned to individual sections or everyone, okay? If you are differentiating assignments by user, that great pass back to Aries is not going to work, okay? And another reminder, um, long assignment names, if you make it really, really long, okay, uh, it, may, it may also prevent the assignment from syncing or saving the assignment uh, into Aries. So just make sure that you are aware of that, okay? So just keep it short, right? As long as you understand what it is and make sure that you click the sync to SIS and um, you have a due date, okay? So now that we created our assignment, we're ready to save or save and publish, depending on what you want to do. But now that we have everything set up, once you are ready to grade, you are going to put grades in your uh, course navigation. Over here, you should see all of your grades. Okay, and what I want you to see is, this is going to tell you something. Under, over here, you see your categories. And over here, you're going to see grades, okay? So let's say that you have um, a grade right here, 70%. If you don't see a letter grade, like a C, or maybe 85% a B, then that means that you have not set this right and it's not going to work. So that's kind of a, a way of knowing that this is set up right, okay? So maybe I created this assignment and I created this assignment too, and I maybe have finished creating this assignment. Now I'm ready to push those grades into my every grade. So how do we do that? We are going to go up here. If you have never noticed before, you have an Actions button over here. You want to click it, and over here you have the ability to sync to Grade Pass Service. So you want to click that right there, okay? When you do that, it's going to load the assignments. So by default, it's going to say, I'm going to send these assignments because they have grades in it, okay? You can do it this way, or if you're not ready to send this assignment yet, you can unclick it. But I created everything and I want everything to go in there, okay? You can filter by section if you want to. So maybe I only finished creating uh, uh, my first period, but not my second one. I can do that and then just select the assignments or by default send them all, okay? So now I'm ready to post grades. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to post grades. Notice that what it's going to do is going to say schedule, okay? So uh, a couple of things, by default, all of your assignments will be selected to pass back to Aries, okay? If you want only selected assignments to, to go to Aries, then you just gotta deselect the ones that you do not want, okay? So that's kind of a key, okay? And uh, another huge thing, okay? Uh, even though you may have selected assignments for great pass back, only assignments with grades attached will be sent during the sync or creation into Aries, okay? And if you update an assignment in Canvas and would like to update the assignment in Aries, you have to modify at least one score for a student for the assignment to, to, to have those changes happen, okay? So I'll repeat that again, okay? If you update an assignment in Canvas and would like to update the assignment in Aries, you have to modify at least one score for a student in the gradebook for the assignment to be able to um, have those changes take place, okay? So we saw that after posting uh, the grades, you see the schedule one, and um, uh, you will know what's been done if you go to progress over here, okay? So the gracing page is where you, you view the status of your gracing. You can see uh, when you started the sync, okay? What stage it's on out of five, uh, and finally when you get to complete it, it has been sent, okay? So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to set up your Aries Canvas Sync. Um, if you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tools. Have a great day.